hello beautiful people you're welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video and if you are new to this channel you are welcome join this wonderful family by subscribing it is free just hit on the subscribe button and turn on the bell beside it so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be among those that will be notified thank you for doing that so today i want to show you how to use already made bra cups on your bustier so we have this here you can see it's looking just very flat because it is not padded so this is shoulder that's bustier so we're making the style you're seeing on the screen so that is why you see this white lace here so i'll be uh, joining the sleeve so this is shoulder that bustier and i have taught how to make shoulder that bustier on this channel so you can see the cup area okay so let me turn to the wrong side so that you see what we have here so the the shape is already there because we use shoulder darts okay so this shoulder that boost here you can see the cup area is already there but since it is not padded it is not firm it is not standing so these are the bra cups i'm using this is size 40 okay so you get the um, exact size for the client but if you're making a corset um bustier you have to use bigger cups depending on what you want so i'll be making a video for that how to use your bra cups for making corsets okay but today we want to use it in our in our bustiers so you can use this or the method i'll be showing you can be used on any bustier at all be it tube top be it shoulder dart um yeah shoulder dart like this one be it princess dart which is the armhole dart okay whatever that you are using you can use the method i'll be showing you now you turn to the wrong side of your um, top or the blouse you have to get the under bust okay so you can either measure it or you just use the curve normally by the time you can see the shape we have here okay so this is the under bust okay so you can measure to be very sure so now i would measure from the begin from the start so the under bust is at 14 inches and i have it here you can see it's 14 inches so at the under bust you would take your bra cup, fold it into two to determine the midpoint, okay? So this is the midpoint of my bra cup. So you can just mark it so that even when you open it, you can still see it, okay? So you just mark the midpoint. Like so, you mark the, the lower side and the top side, okay? So I don't know if you can see this, but just mark it, follow the instruction. Now you come to the under bust on your bust here. You will place this, the midpoint, just place it at that under bust, like so, at the seam. That's where you stitched your blouse, okay? So when you stitched it, just place your bra cup on the, uh, on the seam, on the seam line, okay? The midpoint of your bra cup, just place it on the seam line at the under bust, like so, because the cup is supposed to be you know from the under bust going up so by the time you have placed it there just hold it with a pin okay so you also you know folding it the way it is like so you trace it just keep placing it on that seam line you go up like so until you have gotten to the end of the cup still at the midpoint you place it okay and you hold it down with the pin so for it to be easy for you just turn this way okay because you're going to stitch so you just hold it with pin this way here at the same line where you stitched okay you pin it so i hope you can see this now you can even remove this pin and pin it on this other side so you just pin it okay so i pinned on the seam line and the midpoint of the uh, bra cup so this is it so you can stitch the midpoint as well just fold it again like this and you place it let the seam line be at the midpoint of the cup like this you can see it then you also hold it down with pin there so this is very very simple now having done this just go to your sewing machine and stitch so it's better to stitch 
on this side rather than on inside the cup so that you don't make mistake so you stitch outside stitch on that seam line or for you not to make mistake you can come out a little bit from the seam line not inside the cloth but this seam allowance side you can just come out a little bit and you stitch okay so you can see my chalk so either you stitch directly on the on the seam line where you stitched but if you know you can't just get it you can come out a little bit at this seam allowance side and you just see just like i marked okay then you just stitch it but let it be very close to the seam line because we want to get it at the midpoint of the bra cup so i will just go to my sewing machine now i will stitch like this okay so i'll be using a contrasting thread so that you can see the seam you can see the thread in the cup side and see what it looks like okay so i will just go ahead and stitch it it's simple okay just teach like this from this um lower part of the cup you stitch to the top of the cup okay so that is just what you will do like this you have to place it flat like this on your sewing machine you have to place it flat like this on your sewing machine and you stitch okay just stitch like so so let me do that and show you um what i mean so by the time i stitch it to be clear to you okay so I have stitched it and you can see what it looks like inside the cup. So let me show you the seam area where I told you you stitch. So by the time you just stitch here, like I said, you have to lay it flat on your machine and you stitch here. So when you stitch, it would, you know, get to this side like so. So you can see that. So I've done that for the two sides, okay? And this is what we have. So when you don't want to cut swadding or you know want to you don't want to pad your blouse directly you can just use a ready made cup in this simple way and you can see so it will just give your blouse a very nice fitting at the bust area so by the time you have done this the next thing is to iron it so you place your ironing ball okay so um i did a video where i used this and somebody was asking me what it is so it is ironing ball and uh, it is also called ham i think h-a-m so i i will show you how i made this in another video okay so you place your ironing ball under your cup like so okay then you turn to the right side so you want to iron it out so that you have a very nice and smooth um, bust cup at the outside. So you just open it up here and you iron it, okay? So this is it. So I've also made the uh, videos on how you can pad with wording. Okay, so I'll also drop links to those videos in the description box. How you can pad in case you're using your wording to pad. So I would drop the link. But I've made a video on shoulder that boost here and also showed how to pad it in that video. So you just iron it open like so. Okay, so this is it looking very nice. So you can see this compared to how it was before. It now has fitting at the bust area. So you also iron this one. Just try to open it up very well and you iron. So you give it a good press like so, okay? And everything will be opened up. This is it, okay? This is simply how to use your boss cup on your bustiers. And in the inside, you have it looking this way. Okay? So you can see it. Okay? So hope this video was helpful give it a like and if you are not yet subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for just hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell beside it okay so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be among those that will be notified so thank you for watching and see you in my next video remain blessed